No one knows truly what can happen in the future, but everyone wants something to happen. So each assembly in attendance today has given me something that they want to see added or changed in Rainbow. Blue jeans seem to be pretty popular. <laughs> Both Temple and Tilden want to see blue jeans allowed in Rainbow. <laughs> Clifton wants to get them out there. We want some more advertising for Rainbow. We want, it, we want more people to know what we are and what we do. Iris and Mistletoe both say that we want more charity events with, well, more unity, basically, with all the other Masonic bodies. Holly says that we want more freedom with what we get to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Golden says that we should bring back the shawls, like for the color stations, we would have colored shawls for everyone. <laughs> Del Valley, Delaware Valley says that there should be more costumes for Grand Assembly or more contests. It would be fun. <laughs> And finally, Trenton says they want more rainbow songs to be sung all the time. <laughs> New Jersey Rainbow has come a very long way since the 1920s, and we continue to grow and change every day. The ideas, mistakes, successes, and experiences of every rainbow girl who has passed through our ranks helps to shape and mold our future. It has been said that the greatest measurement of a leader is to look at the accomplishments of their successor. We owe a great deal of gratitude to each rainbow officer who has served this grand assembly for shaping us into the leaders we are today. New Jersey Rainbow has a bright and promising future. Together we can grow as an organization and as people to make the world around us a better place. Rainbow girls get ready for life. Rainbow gets girls ready for life. I read that wrong. <laughs> so tell me, New Jersey Rainbow, are you ready to be extraordinary? Yes! Yeah. Yeah.